silly bear walk in the snow? Barefooted. <laughs> okay, okay, I got better ones. Um, what do you call a bear with no teeth? Gummy bears. <laughs> okay, one more. What did the teddy bear say after dinner? I'm stuffed. <laughs> I just love bears. Pammy creates all the day through. And you can do it too. Think of words and a prize. And make images, please do. I do, 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 Hey, do you know the song, There Was a Great Big Moose? Ha <laughs> ha, we're gonna change it up to There Was a Great Big Bear. Share with me something that rhymes with bear. Ready? There was a great big bear. He really had a lot of hair. There was a great big bear. He really had a lot of hair. Sing, whoa. E -o, e -o, e -o, e -o. Oh, 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 eo, 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 eo. All right, think of something that rhymes with bear. I'll put it in the song. Oh, chair. Good one, Michael. There was a great big bear. He sometimes sat in a chair. There was a great big bear. He sometimes sat in a chair. Oh, that makes me think of Little Red Riding Hood. We got the big chair, the little chair, the, uh, I'd say big little, the medium chair. <laughs> there was a great big bear. He loved to sit in a chair. Sing, whoa, ho, ho, ho. E -o, e -o, e -o, e -o. Sing along. Oh, 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 oh. E -o, e -o, e -o, e -o. Okay, we got bear, hair, chair. Ooh, watch this. What am I doing? There was a great big bear. He really liked to stare. There was a great big bear. He really liked to stare. Ha, Miss Stephanie's backstage. Watch, look. Let's bring her in. Look at Miss Stephanie. <laughs> hey, Miss Stephanie, you want to pick the next rhyme? We got bear, stare, chair, hair. How about pear? Oh, pear! Okay, now which one? The fruit or like a pair of socks? The fruit. The fruit. Okay, good to clarify. Okay. There was a great big bear. He sometimes would eat a pear. There was a great big bear. He sometimes would eat a pear. Sing whoa ho ho ho. E -o, e -o, e -o, e -o. Oh, 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 oh. E -o, e -o, e -o, e -o. I think we should try one more. We got ba pear, bear, stair, chair. Hmm, where's another word? Um, oh, fair! Ha <laughs> ha! Thanks, Sibley. There was a great big bear. He would always be fair. There was a great big bear. He would always be fair. Sing along with the big finale. Sing oh 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 oh. E o e o e o e o. Oh 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 oh. E o e o e o e o. That was a lot of fun. That was fun. Thanks for helping all those words, friends. Hey, let's go find out what movies got to share with us today. Uh, did you know that more than half of the state of Michigan is made up of forests? Yep, and these forests give animals like black bears places to live. Yeah, I just read that Michigan has almost 700 different kinds of animals that live in the state. Oh, man, I'm glad we have so much forest land to share with the animals. Yeah, I don't think I'd share my room with a black bear. Hmm. Would you want to live with a black bear? Ha-ha! Hmm, maybe that would be cool. <laughs> That would be cool. Friends, it's time for today's three sentence story. Beginning, middle, end. And the three words come from you. Ha ha, in the first sentence, we set the scene. In the second sentence, there is a problem. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to, oh, you don't want to live with a bear either? Yeah, I think, well, I don't know. I think maybe bears get a bad rap. Maybe, you know, but I hear you, all right? Yeah.
Okay, so, uh, and then the ending, um, and the ending is uh, the solution. Solution. <laughs> yeah, I think we, 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 we got the story structure, right? Beginning, middle, end. Where will this story begin? Ha <laughs> ha, let's find out. Ooh, honey. Ha <laughs> ha. Hmm, okay, honey. Yes, okay, here we go. A chipmunk was walking through the forest one day and noticed a giant honey... Wait, the honey comes from a beehive, right? So would the honey be in the beehive? No, the honey's in the... I gotta do some research, friends. I gotta find out more about honey in the beehives and if the honey... I know people, f like, raise bees for honey, but I think our bees... He's naturally making honey in the beehive? Oh, oh, I get to find out! Okay, well, I'll research that later. But yes, yeah, so a chipmunk was walking through the woods and looked up and saw some honey in a beehive. To be determined and fact-checked later. Okay, but okay, so tree. Okay, the problem is tree. Okay, okay, I got it, I got it, okay. A chipmunk was walking through the forest and saw a giant beehive dripping honey. Out of nowhere, a giant pine tree came crashing down and knocked over the honey in the beehive. Oh no! The bees, the honey, the chipmunk is like, oh no! Oh, right. zip, 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 yeah, That's a little squirrel. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, cauliflower. <laughs> yes, the solution. Thanks, Moby. The solution is cauliflower. Okay, I got it. Um, okay, here we go. A little chipmunk was walking through the forest and noticed a giant beehive that was dripping honey. Out of nowhere, a giant pine tree came crashing down and knocked it over. Fortunately, a deer planted a little cauliflower that grew into a giant cauliflower and we all put the beehive back on the branch. Wait, does cauliflower have branches? Do you call it branches on a cauliflower tree? I think so. Yeah, we'll say it. <laughs> Friends, we did it! We made a story. We've got the beginning, the middle, and the end. Ah, now, friends, Nia's been backstage working on today's Wimage. It's time for today's Wimage Lab. Oh, hi, Nia. How's it going today? Hi, Wimmy. How are you? I'm good. The cauliflower tree. <laughs> I know. I know. That sounds so cool. It's different. Wouldn't that be fun definitely. to climb up in a giant cauliflower tree? Yeah, huh? I definitely would. I, I, I bet, think so. Cauliflower I bet, would. Right? I think James would love it, right? James and the giant peach, she'd be like, oh, yeah, I get it. <laughs> definitely, definitely. Let me show you what I have. And okay. then, like always, we're going to work together and add more. I love it. All righty. So here <gasps> we go. Oh, man. It's magical. So, yeah. We have our tree with our bees and our honey. We have two paths. Maybe the chipmunks Ooh. are going to walk down that path. We have the tree that's falling down, the cauliflower on the floor. And there goes that deer that's going to go eat it all up. <laughs> and we also have a dog. Maybe the dog Ooh. is wandering in the forest, too. I love that how the pictures tell more of the story. Yeah. yeah. The dog. So, Wimmy, I'm thinking, what should we add to this story? Okay. Um, friends, if you have ideas, let us know. How about... Um, hmm. Chipmunks? The bees? Yeah. The deer? Other woodland creature? Oh, a bear! We should have a bear in the story, right? Let's add a bear. <laughs> Love it. Ooh, because the bear's probably like, no! Oh, wait a minute. All right. Maybe the bear has a friend. What do you think the bear's friend would be? What are um, we thinking? Hmm. A rabbit? Um, ooh, yeah. Are we... Yeah. I don't know if in, in a nonfiction story would a rabbit and a bear hang out, but that's what's fun about uh, fiction stories. We can create it, right? Of course. You can create whatever you like. <laughs> So let me show you what I have now. So you guys can remember, because remember, today we're going to play the game where I'm going to change something and you're going to tell me what I changed. I love it. Uh -huh. All righty. Let's see. So here okay. we go. <gasps> There's the bear. There's the rabbit. The cauliflower. Okay, so friends, look closely. We got to think about the colors. So, okay, purple, green, orange, yellow. Okay, the trees. There were two paths. 
the deer, the cauliflower. Okay, I think I've got a pretty good idea. And when we come back to you later in the show, Nia, we'll find out what you changed and what's different. All righty, see you uh, later. See you soon. <laughs> so cool. Now, friends, for today's language explorers, Miss Stephanie's with us to show us how to say the words in sign language. <laughs> Hello, Miss Stephanie. Hello, Wimmy. Hello, friends. Uh -huh. so, yes, I thought I'd jump right in first with telling you how to say bears, <gasps> since that's okay. the theme of our episode today. So yeah. you cross your arms like this and scratch twice. This is bear. It's kind of like bear. a bear scratching. I, mean, oh, I, yeah. think, I think of bears scratching their backs on trees, but this is how it's in American Sign Language. I love it. Scratching. Yeah. And bears bear. seem to like honey. That's what we hear, right? And well, so, that, yeah. I yeah. think so, but I'd, I have to research that some more, too. Right. Me, too, actually. But there are a few different ways to say honey in American Sign Language. So I'll show you this one. You okay. take your finger and move it across your mouth and then kind of flick it away. Ooh. Honey. 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 Yeah. All right. The next one is tree. So you're going to put one arm out like it's the ground. The next okay. arm goes up. It's kind of hard to see. I realize Ooh. I'll scoot back. Okay. And it's tree. Can you kind of see that? Yeah. Tree. Nice. Yes. It, this, it's like the tree is coming out of the earth, right? That makes sense. Exactly. Now, the last word we had in the story was cauliflower. And I did not know how to say cauliflower oh. in American Sign Language, so I had to look it up. Oh. And what right. I found out is there is no sign oh. for cauliflower. You have to spell it. So oh. in American Sign Language, if there's not a sign or if you're not sure what it is, then you spell the word. Okay. So I could show you. It's a long word. Oh, but, let's do it. Okay. C. You, I, I'll say the letter while you show me. Wonderful. Okay. C. C. A. A. U. U. L. L. I. I. X. Do that. L. Oh, L. O. O. W. W. E. E. R. Nice. Oh, no. I, I was thinking how cauliflower sounded to me. I, sometimes I do that. I get the letters mixed up. Yes. That A and the U together gets kind of tricky, friends. Ooh. And it often says, ah, the A and the aww, U. Ah, I love flower. that. Did you say, ah? <laughs> that's right. All right. Well, that's all I have nice. for today. Awesome. See you later. Thank you so much, Miss Stephanie. So <laughs> I love it. <laughs> okay, so friends, we've got our story. We've got the women. We learned some sign language. Guess what, friends? Oh, man, I got to get my camera in focus first. Check, check, check. I think I'm moving around too much. There we go. <laughs> now I can see clearly. Okay, friends, guess what? I'm so excited. My friend Rose is with us on the show today to share a story about a bear. <laughs> Hi, Rose. Hi. Oh, it's so good to see you. It's Will so you... nice to see you. Will you share at, uh, at, uh, share about yourself a little bit so our friends at home can get to know you like I do? Sure. I am Rose Johnson, and I am Native American. And the story I'm going to tell is a Native American story that originates from right here in Michigan. I love it. I, I've heard the story, and I'm so excited that you're going to share it with our friends. So when you're ready, share with us this story. A long time ago, when the earth was very, very young, while well, the bear had this beautiful, beautiful long tail. And he decided he was going to go talk to Fox. And he says, Fox, don't you just love my long tail? Don't you wish you had one? And Fox goes, I do have a long tail and it and it's kind of bushy and, and it's pretty too. The bear goes, yeah, but it's not as pretty as mine. So he kept walking and Fox decided, well, that wasn't very nice. You know, it kind of made him feel bad because Bear didn't like his tail. And so Fox said, hmm, yeah, I'm going to go and um, we're going to see if we can teach Bear a little lesson. So Fox decided to go to the side of the, the lake and he wanted to uh, dig a hole and get a whole bunch of fish because he knew Bear was getting ready to go for his long sleep. And 
before they go on their long sleeps, they eat a lot, you know, so it keeps them all winter long. So Fox got a hold of Otter, and Otter helped him get the fish after they made the hole in the ice. And Otter went down and started piling up the fish on the side. And then Otter left. Bear walked by and he saw all that fish that was sitting next to the hole and Fox was standing there. And he goes, Fox, how did you get all of that fish? And Fox said, well, it's kind of cool because I just stuck my, um, my tail down in that hole. And whenever I would feel a nibble, I'd just pull them up and throw them on the side. Bear goes, can I try? And Fox goes, sure, sure, let's, let's let you try. He says, I have all that I want. You can just use this hole and I'm gonna go home and feed my family. Bear goes, okay, you have fun, see you later. So Bear sat down and he stuck his tail in the hole. He remembered Fox saying, well, when you feel them nibble, you need to just kind of pull them out and just fling them to the side. Well, Bear decided, I have a little bit bigger tail and I think I'll just wait for a whole bunch of fish to nibble at one time. So Bear sat down there, stuck his tail in, wiggled it a little bit, and he started feeling a little pricks on his tail. And he goes, whoa, I can feel it. I can feel the the fish and so he says i'm gonna let a whole lot of prickles yeah. happen on my tail oh. and so pretty soon it began to hurt and so he's decided hmm, i better i guess i'd better pull it out now and and then i can go and do my eating and do my long sleep so he tried to get up and, and he saw he couldn't and he tried to get up again and he was stuck and he looked back and his tail was stuck in the ice. It had froze over. Oh no! And he pulled and he pulled, and then all of a sudden, his tail broke off. <gasps> he no longer had that big, beautiful tail. It was just like a little nubbin that he oh, had no. left. And if you look at that picture of the bear that you have at the beginning, or in that story um, that you were told about the cauliflower, he had a little yeah. tail too. Oh, oh. So, and that oh. is how Bear lost his tail and has that little kind of small tail that he has now. Oh, wow. Man, that story. Wow. I really enjoyed hearing that, Rose. And this story has been told many times, right, over generations? It has. It has. Man, and so the bear was trying to get, what, do you, what, do you, to, what does this story mean to you if you were to summarize it? Well, I think that we shouldn't brag Ooh. and um, to be humble, yeah. or we could lose our tail. <laughs> oh! oh, no. <laughs> wow. And now that's an Ojibwe legend. Is that correct? It is. It oh, is. Yes, it is. Man. That is so beautiful. So cool. Um, Rose, thank you so much for sharing that legend, that story with us today. And we look forward to uh, having you back on the show later, right? And share yes. with us some more legends, some more stories, some more history. Sure. I sure will. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Rose. Oh, so cool. So good. So fun. All right, friends. Sibley, you know Sibley. He's got those fun, silly jokes. It's time for Laughing with Sibley. How do bears catch fish without a pole? Hmm. Um, I don't know. With their bare hands. <laughs> Uh, maybe that bear would still have his tail if he was using his paws to fish. <laughs> That's fun. Hey, friends, we love books. It's time for Check Out This Book. Hi, Miss Lisa. How are you? I'm good, thanks. <laughs> I oh, loved hearing yeah. Rose's story today. Uh, that was so wonderful. I know, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. I'm excited to get to share a story about a bear with you all, too. What's, what's it about? I am going to talk to you a little bit today about Letters from Bear by Guthier David. Um, and it is published by Erdman's Books for Young Readers. In this book, Bear, with his short little tail, oh. Oh, yeah. um, Bear 
is with his friend Bird at the beginning and Bird flies south. And as soon as Bird leaves, Bear is very sad. And this whole book is told in letters that Bear is writing to his friend Bird because right after his friend leaves, he decides that he's gonna go find her, his bird friend. And he travels through all these interesting places writing letters to his friend Bird. This is a really fun book, a fun one to read with a grown up. Man, I gotta go check out that book, Miss Lisa. Thank you so much. I gotta find out how does the bird help him? The, and lots of birds, one bird, I don't know. I gotta go find out. Uh -huh. Well, friends, we gotta check in with Nia to see what things she has changed. All right, Wimmy, are you ready? Yep. All righty, let see. me show you. Here we go. Oh, man, what changed? Oh, the squirrels have moved around. And they've yeah. got a jar. Oh, they've got a honey jar. The beehive. The yeah, jar of honey. Yeah, they have a honey jar. Okay, so that's one change. Friends at home, anybody see? I think, oh, I think before there was one deer, but now there are two. two? Am I correct? There we go. Oh, so that's two changes. Let's see. Anything else change? One more change. Mm, one more. Friends backstage, anybody see what's maybe different? Um, oh, Is let's the see, background? There's the go. background. It is. <laughs> Miss Lisa got the last one. Awesome. Well, Nia, thanks for mixing it up on the of image. Uh -huh. Friends. This show is action-packed with adventure, with games, with fun. It's time for today's Find It Fast. All right, friends. Can you find something that starts with B, like bear? Something soft, like the fur on a bear. And something black, like some bears. Now, take a listen to this awesome music. This is our friend Royce. Uh, Royce, I combined a few words in my brain. Our friend Rose is singing. Oh, it's called the Eagle Song. One of Michigan's oldest songs. Okay, so friends, can you find something that starts with B? Something soft. Can you find something black? Find it. Where can you find something that starts with B? Miss Stephanie, what do you have? Oh. I have this notebook right here. So a notebook. It's a type of book. book. Yep. Starts with B. It's black and yep. it's soft. It has a soft cover. Ooh, I like it. Thanks, Miss Stephanie. Let's see, friends. What else can you find? What starts with B? Bear. Bob. Anybody have an Uncle Bob? Hey, Michael, what have you got? So I've got this Wimmy plush, which is pretty soft. <laughs> it's soft. Hi, guys. Hi, me. Um, I also have this black ink. Nice. And something that starts with B is I'm a boy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That'll work. <laughs> I like that. Something that starts with B. Um, something soft. Maybe a kitty? Oh, any of the animals we mentioned with soft fur, I bet. Um, anybody have a bear in their house? Or a chinchilla? Oh. oh. I have a soft block. <gasps> yeah. This starts with B. And I have a, like Michael, I have a pen with black ink. Ah, ah, that's perfect. Miss Lisa, at first I thought you were holding a giant piece of cheese. <laughs> okay, what else? Something black. Um, ooh, ooh, a black blanket. Perfect. Something soft. Something... Oh, can you imagine a nice soft blanket? <laughs> well, friends, let's see what Nia's got. Nia, what have you got? I have a water bottle that actually has a deer on it, deer park water. Oh. And then... I have my black iPad, Ooh. and then in this box, it's soft tissue. Oh, those are soft. The tissues in box. That starts with B, too. <laughs> well, friends, thanks so much. Oh, Michael's got something. What is it? We got Michael. What did you? You're overachiever. What do you get now? I just wanted to end with that music is so soft and right. spiritual, and right. it's it's just doing something to me. So that's all I wanted to say. It's very... I'm soft um loving music i'm so glad you said that rose i wanted i was just going to ask what can you tell us more about the song well what you were listening to was the vocables of the eagle song and um in the other part if they listen to the whole song there is uh words 
that are all in the true language of Michigan. So I encourage you to, you know, listen to the song and listen to the um, poem that goes with it. So. We'll post a link. So this yes. song, Rose, you and Kevin and Ryan Hip and Stephanie, you work together on the recording from the book, A Curious Glimpse of Michigan. And the poem, yes. right, is called These Were the First Americans. And the lovely recording that you did and the Native American flute. And it was an honor um, working together. Or, I wasn't actually, around back then, <laughs> but Kevin yeah. told me about it. The, the song is actually a journey song. And, you know, whenever you're you're leaving to somewhere or you're, you're going on to do something else. That's when that song will be played or sang. That's beautiful. Yeah, it's very beautiful. Thank it. you so much, Rose, for sharing Thank that. Thank you. I love it. Well, friends, we are at Let Michael and Rose stay right with us. We're ready for the dance party. So let's bring in Nia and Lisa and Stephanie. Ho, ho, let's cue the music. Let's get ready to dance, friends. It's been so fun learning about bears, writing stories, checking out books, hearing awesome music. Ho, ho. Ooh, how do we, could we dance like a bear? How would bears dance? <laughs> oh, yeah, Michael's got it. Wimmy's words is brought to you by PNC Grow Up Great, Fonterra by Smart, Meyer, and with additional support from these great partners.